Hi Model Railroaders, this is Jim Lewis from Model Train Technology. Welcome back. Today we're going to just review the G-Scale uh, product line and we're going solar. So today is about a solar setup that we have. Uh, we did some research uh, and experimentation and we really have a, a, I think we have a good solution for that. Uh, before we get to that, I wanted to just, uh, for those of you who haven't seen our previous videos, or are just wanting a little bit more information. I have all of the products uh, for the signaling out here. Uh, these are all the G scale products that we make, starting with a single flasher. Uh, we have a double flasher, so lights on both sides, uh, the three light signal and the seven light signal. I really like the seven light signal. Uh, we have these all running on our 12 volt system. Uh, so this is the, the electronics are all inside here. Uh, this is called the G controller and all of these right now are being powered by our power module. This just happens to be convenient on the, the lab bench here. 12 volt module, it's a one amp supply. Uh, when you purchase the 12 volt system, uh, you have an option of purchasing a 12 volt power supply that has a 5 amp capacity and you can run all your signals off of that, uh, quite, a, quite a number. Uh, in fact. Uh, so anyway, that's the hookup. Um, I have these angled off slightly to the side uh, from experience now of uh, over a hundred videos. We're getting better at it. Still need, still need some practice, but uh, by aiming the, the uh, particularly the LEDs away from the camera it avoids the, the halo effect. And so if I just uh, trip these now, uh, the sensors are facing me, so the train would come by, trip the sensors, and you can see the behavior there. That's the three aspects slow-mo. Uh, uh, there are five or six other aspects. The same controller will operate the three light, uh, three light signal, or you can configure it to run the flashers. It's the same box, same electronics. Um, one of the questions that came up uh, from a number of uh, potential customers as we were discussing their needs, uh, they liked the flasher, they liked the controller, they understood that. Uh, and they said, well, so the train comes from the east, then it trips the, the precision detector max inside the controller. That's right. So this is one of the sensors as well as the controller. What about traffic from the west side? And so the detector, precision detector max, is available in a smaller form. This is just the detector, and this would be powered by the same power supply, and a single signal wire would go to the detect side, so you could pick up the east traffic as well as the west traffic to trip the, the flasher. Uh, and you can run two flashers um, easily off of the single G controller, so you can have them on one side of the track and the other uh, as, you, as you wish there. Uh, the other thing that uh, we have done is we've uh, introduced a new style of Precision Sensor Max. Uh, this is a mile marker. Uh, we've painted it a little bit whitish color. Uh, we've played around with all sorts of stone techniques and so forth. And at the end, we decided uh, we'll leave it up to you modelers how you want to um, scenic this, whether you want to put numbers on it or, or make it more stone-like. Very simple. And like all of our products, it's magnetic base. And here are the three wires. There's two red wires. The power in the system is non-polarity driven. In other words, you can connect it plus and minus. It doesn't matter. Uh, here's the sig single signal wire. It's always yellow uh, that you would connect over here. And while I'm mentioning about the magnets, uh, it's just good to know that these rubber blocks that I use to mount this whole system out on my layout, which is a concrete slab, uh, they're designed to knock over. Uh, there are magnets here that will keep it intact without breaking the stem, although the stem of these are all aluminum, uh, but just to keep things uh, safer, the cat knocks it over or whatever, uh, there's a little bit of flexibility there. So that's the, uh, the main system using the 12 volt supply. All of this operates the same if you purchase the battery uh, powered one. Here it is, the case is a little bit bigger, and in this case the battery is inside uh, the control box and the battery removed. So you can go and charge these, have a stack of these, and at the beginning of your run session, uh, which can be many days long, uh, you can install the battery, hook up the wires, put the case on, and put it out there, and you're ready to go. Okay, so now let's talk about solar. So I'm going to move everything off to the side a little bit, 
and uh, just get this out of the way so I can bring in the next one. So I'm going to disconnect. Uh, well, let's 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 use this one. So I'm going to disconnect this wire. We're using uh, Japan standard connectors now, so your unit will come with that. Makes it really easy to. Uh, say, oh, and these are are magnet based also. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Disconnect this one. So we can bring in the solar setup. All right. So we have a a signal light. We have a controller. And we'll just connect up the, the lights as we've done in the past. Just connect that up. Whoops, I need to use, I need to use this light because of the connector that I use here. Uh, we have adapt, connector adapters, uh, just in case you want to go from a four light to a three light, uh, there are connector adapters for that. All right, so here's the signal controller. Here's the barrel plug, and here is the solar uh, battery charger combination that we selected. It has 5,000 milliamp uh, battery cells uh, embedded or ingrated and integrated into it. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof. Our testing in the Florida sun and rain has done great. This is uh, uh, pretty simple. We like this. The mounting plate comes with it. Long extension cord and the, the barrel plug and this barrel plug are compatible. So we just plug it up it fires up and there we go. And so we would trigger the train coming by and this will work off of this. Now the, the battery in here is similar to the battery we used in the battery version, which means that you can run three or four uh, signal systems off of this battery, uh, off the battery that's in this inside this charger. Or you could run one or two and, and extend the running length. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, these are available now on our website. So this is going solar. Um, and the, the advantage here is that you don't have to bring the batteries in and charge them and so forth. So that's kind of nice. Um, and you can mount these in different places away from the train so, and just run the cord. And so your end of your session might be just disconnecting these two things and bringing them inside. Um, or not. So that's really the, uh, the, the setup. So let me just plug it back in and it takes about a second and a half to boot the G controller and there we go. So that's our solar ses uh, setup and that's available today on the website. So thanks for watching.